Maybe James Berylson. Maybe we don't know too much about him. Maybe we're yeah. underestimating him as a character. Maybe he's got ambition. Maybe he wants to not just take over what his dad did, but what a lot of sons do, you see in, in this position. For example, not even in football, Eddie Hearn. Yeah. Take over the fucking parent, parents' business or the dad's business, and they don't want to continue it. They want to fucking drive it to a, a, another level to put their own stamp on it and get their own credit for that success. Do you know what I mean? I think as well you have to you have to take a look at it as you know as a person, um, you know, the the results and the way that Millwall are where they are, how well they do over the next five ten years or whatever, um, and obviously the fan base is is critical to an owner, um, you know, and he's seeing people that aren't going. Actually, you're getting people through the door, mate. This, you're you're losing the battle, aren't you? This isn't just his business. This is his father's legacy. Yeah. You know, um, this is something that his dad has poured millions and millions of pounds in um, over the years. And uh, if it has been down to him having a strong chat with Rowett and Rowett showing his vulnerability, which I think I think that is the case, to be honest, then, you know, hats off to him. Massively hats off to him. Mm. It might not just be, like we say, just business. It's definitely... An emotional tie there as well. It's personal now. It's not just business. It's both. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'll take that all day long. That, that's the type of owner you want. Mm. You know, this was this is this is my father's legacy. We're talking about people aren't happy. They're not going. You know, it's so everything's so fresh in the mind for the Belson family and the Millwall family. Oh, and yeah. yeah, and you know, you sat fifteenth in the league with really unhappy fans. Why you're going like that? 